Today I am going to show you the select query. What is select query and what select is used for in SQL. And we know every statement or query you are going to start with a select query. So select play a vital role while you are writing a SQL query or a SQL statement. Let's see step by step. Here I have SSMS open and also a PG admin open. I want to show you how select query works in, in these two different different IDE. In my later video, I will try to use a MySQL workbench also so that you are going to through with the multiple IDE where you are going to compare what are the terminology or the way of writing of a SQL query get difference among these IDs. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss about the select query. What select query is and how does it work? See, select means display, but display in SQL, we are going to write select. Select star means display everything. From, from the table, you are going to specify, meaning you are going to display every record from the table you are going to specify here. Now, in SQL, everything going to start with the select, meaning select play a vital role while you are writing a SQL statement or SQL query. Select will retrieve your data from the columns and the rows from your specified table. Now, I gonna show you a multiple scenario wherein you gonna compare the way of writing, how to write a select query in different different IDs. So, I am going to start just like this, select star from star, meaning display every record from clause with stop table, meaning please display every record from stop table. So select this one and execute. You can see every record you gonna see here from the stop table. In the same manner, we gonna see every record from the stop salary table. This is your first select query and this is a very basic select query but select will use with the multiple table also so i am going to show you the another way so select a star from a staff table and also from a staff salary table meaning please display every record from staff table and a staff salary table Meaning, I am going to select every record from these two tables all together. Select this one. Now you can see, you have a record from a staff and you have also records from the staff salary table. Meaning, we have records from these two tables, whatever records available in these two tables, we get a result as all together from here. Now, in first table, we have record from staff ID to the address ID. And in second table, we have staff ID, salary and currency. There are only three columns available in staff salary and the rest, these columns available in a staff salary. Uh, sorry, a staff table. Now, this is the whole record I going to Query from using a asterisk mark here. But if the case, you will find only a particular column, not for the whole tables record. So you are going to write like select staff ID, then staff 
type then is then dob then render from stop you gonna write like this meaning you are not going to retrieve all the records you are just going to retrieve a staff id staff type is dob and gender meaning you are going to retrieve only five columns record from the staff table so in this way you're gonna retrieve a particular record from your table now i'm going to show you the aliases what aliases is Or uh, before I want to show two, three more examples for select query option. But I want to show how together with the aliases. So first, I want to explain what is aliases. What is aliases? Aliases are the shortcut form of your table name. Aliases is the abbreviated form of your table name, which you gonna use while you writing a query or a statement in SQL. Let's see what are aliases here. So this gonna are. So what are the aliases here? So I'm going to use this one. This command here again, and now what I want, I want staff ID should be as S ID, meaning staff ID is the column available in a staff table. But I want to show not the staff ID header. I want to show header as S ID because I'm going to change, but not actually going to change i am just giving its temporary name as aliases now staff type i am going to define as s type age and age a dob leave it as it is and gender i am going to change as G G D. That's it. Meaning, I'm going to give a temporary name for the staff ID column as S ID, staff type column as S type, age and DOB I leave as it is, gender I giving a temporary name as G D. This is what a temporary name is called a aliases. These are the aliases. As I am also not only giving aliases for the column name, also giving aliases for the table name. And here you can see a staff from a staff is a table. This time you I am going to show with this one. Now we have changed staff ID as S ID, staff type as S type, which is what I have defined here, and gender as a GD. Now I'm going to show in another way with the aliases. Now I have defined everything, but this time I'm not going to give a quotation mark. I'm going to write as SIT. I'm going to write as S S type as Read. Let's see what is the result. The same result which I I have by this statement. Meaning you can give your aliases or a temporary temporary name for the column as surrounded by the quotation mark or as using as keyword. If you use as keyword, then no need to give a quotation mark. But 
if you giving a quotation mark, then don't use as keyword there. So these are the two ways you gonna use your aliases. Now I am going to use table as a aliases, meaning select star from staff. I am giving a table name as F, meaning S represents here your staff table. Now what I want, I want this column SID, not I am going to use a star. Let's see first with the star. Now I have all the record from the staff table. Now what I want, I want three, only first name, last name, age, DOB and gender. So, not I am going to have a six mark here, I am going to define a particular column. Now going to write S first name plus space plus S dot last name as full name comma S dot S comma S dot DOV comma S dot gender. Now you can see here I am giving staff table as a temporary name as S. And here I am going to select first name and last name all together so that I can concatenate these two columns and have a full name column. So I am not retrieving first name and last name as a separate column. I am retrieving as a full column which will be the combination of these two columns, first name and last name all together. And now I am picking A column, DOB column and gender column from this staff table. But I am not, I am here giving S dot, S dot, S dot with every column. Why? Because here staff table now becomes S. And whatever column you gonna define in your query, you have to define with your S bird because S is a temporary name which is what aliases is. So you have to define with the temporary name and column. Temporary name dot column. Temporary name dot column. So that system can understand that your first name is going to pick from the S table and S table is your staff table. In the same way, I am going to pick S column, DOB column, and gender column from the S table and S is your staff table. This is what a select query is. Now you can see I have taken as a full name which is the combination of your first name and the last name and age, DOB and gender. Here I specially define the temporary name of the table with every column. Now I am going to, as you group with the session, you will have more complex to go. This, this is the very basic type of query. This is a level up. This is also a level up. Now once you go through with the session, you will have a little complex query to go. Now here I have used only one table. Now I am going to use multiple tables, meaning two tables all together. So just copy this one, same, paste here and also I am going to use a staff salary table. And here I am defining his name as SL, staff salary. Now you can tell me 
if i will not define s s s like what the abbreviation i have defined for the table then how could a system can identify the column or with the data you gonna retrieving can you tell me in which table they this because exist if you are going use a multiple table in this scenario then how gonna system can identify that the data you are going to retrieve from the column and those columns where it exists so you have to define with the abbreviation name is the best practice so that system can identify that s is the staff table you gonna pick only staff table column wherever it will get found now i have defined a staff cellly table as a sl now i am going to pick few records from the staff cellly and let's see what are the records we have in staff cellly we have staff id salary and currency i am going to pick only the salary and currency so here i have to again define sl dot meaning staff salary table now you gonna pick salary now also staff salary table you gonna pick currency meaning i am picking first third third fourth four column from the staff table and two column from the staff salary table all together now see this is what i want the result so you have to define a temporary name if you not gonna define a temporary name you can do as a full name like in place of s you have to write a staff you have to write a staff you have to write a staff so this is a very long name how many times you gonna define this one it will take time to do this that's why aliases comes into the picture so giving aliases will not impact your table structure or the column or row structure it will just a abbreviated name short name so that you can be comfortable to have a very quickly your result that's why aliases get used so using aliases while writing a query or statement in sql is the best practice to have this in practice so this is what aliases are and what a select query is in sql there are different way i have i have shown you the query now see once i click this all get clubbed here how do we know you can just place your mouse with the three dots you can see what ever query you have written is everything listed here if you want to again show those query just click the plus sign that means this all been grouped out now again press then all will get expand so you have seen whatever the way of and the from basic to a complex type of query with the aliases i have used in this example uh i hope you enjoy this session now i am going to show the same thing what will happen in postgre sql now i have a postgre sql here and i have three tables already been created this is your first table this is your second table and this is your third table now see what are the records we have in first table three records what are the records we have in second table we have also three records but 
the name C state is actually are different from the sample ones. Now we have six records here. They all are different from the above one. Now what these are the basic select query we have used here. Now what I want, I want the same what I have written here like this. So I am going to use querying with the multiple table. So select star from sample, sample 1, sample 2. You gonna use a multiple table. Now I am going to use three tables here. And last time I have used here two tables. But now I am going to use here with the three tables. Just select this one and execute. Now we have three tables data club all together into one. This is your result for this query. Now what I want, I want a few columns can be picked from all these three sample tables. So, first select name, state, age, salary from sample sample 1, sample 2. I have defined here all three tables and these are the columns. There are four columns I am going to pick up from all these three tables. But please tell me how going to system can identify that name should be picked from which table? Either from three, all these three tables or from a single table, you have to define so that let system know that the column you gonna picked up from this table. So you have to write, if you want to pick name from a sample table, then you have to write here sample dot. If you want to have state from sample one table, then you have to write sample one. If you want to have sample two table, then you have to define. If I want from sample table, then you are going to define like this. That's why aliases comes in the picture. So either use this way. Let's see first this way. Now we have all four columns retrieved out. Now I am going to define aliases here, sample is S, now sample 1 is S1, now sample 2 is S2. Now instead of writing a long character sample, sample 1, sample 2, I am going to write only S for the sample because sample is S. A sample 1 is S1, so I am going to write only S1. And here I am going to write only S2. And here I am going to write only S because the sample table as sample table is a temporary name given to this table as S. Now we have the same what we used a last time with the full name. Now you gonna run this. Now you will have the same result. Here I have used with the two tables and here I am going to show you with the three tables. I am going to show you another way. Select star from sample 1, sample, sample 1, sample 2. Now, what this statement mean? Selecting every record from this table, this table and this table. But system couldn't get recognized. This system asking from which table you gonna 
picking up all the records. Please specify me. System is asking. So you have to specify the sample dot star meaning in sample table all the records. Now sample one dot star meaning in sample one table all the record. Sample two dot star meaning all the records from sample two table. Now you gonna run. Now we have the result. All every record from these three tables gonna picked up because you let the system know that you gonna pick all the samples records all the sample 1 records, all the sample 2 records from the specified tables. Either you give a short name S, here you give a short name S1, here you give short name S2, then you no need to write a full name, just write S, then write S1, and uh, then write S2. Meaning, you are S1, S, S2 is your table's name. Now you're gonna write, execute, having the same result. So, which way you like, you go with this. Because, once you through with the session, you will have a little complex query, the way of writing or uh, the, the logic you apply to have retrieval of your result. So, try all these options. Best of luck. Thanks for watching.